Hey friends, hope you're doing fine. In this video today, I'd like to show you a way on how to specify which files you want to extract from a zip folder. What I mean by that is the following. Let's say in here I have a folder, which is example.zip. This is my zip file. And if I take a closer look, if I double click, I can see that I got four files in the zip file, which are two Power BI files and two text files. Now, how do I extract the files using Python? Well, at first you can see that I already imported the US module and also I specified the path. So I changed the path to this, uh, in this case, current path, just to make sure that if I type in os.listdir, I would see that there is my example.zip file. So far, so good. Now, in order to extract a zip file to, or the individual files from a zip file in Python, I can use the zip file module. So I can say uh, from zip file, import zip file. So if I execute this, I can see that I, the, this uh, library is installed, so I don't get any errors. Otherwise, you would have to first install it. Now, if you have the zip file like that imported, you can then use it. So I could say, in this case, um, with, and then zip file. And then I need to give it the name, which in my case is the example, right? So zip file, in this case, example.zip, which is the name of the file I have in here. This is my example.zip. And if I use that and specify this as a name, let's call it file. I can then write file.extract all. And if I would execute this, I run it. Um, zip file, okay, then spelling mistake, zip file, capital F, execute this, and you'll see that now if I go to the folder, I can see all the four files extracted. Now that works, and that's totally fine. However, let's say, as in the beginning of the video, you have maybe one file, one zip file, which has maybe a thousand zip files included, or even more. And you do not want to extract all of them. You only want to extract certain um, files of those files. How do you do this? Well, let's go back in here and specify. Instead of extracting everything, you can simply uh, remove this and say, uh, in this case, name list. So name list is, in this case, a function which returns all the names of the files inside the zip file. And to see them, let's actually uh, use a print command here and print this. Let's execute this. And now you see I get all the names. So dates table, uh, the debug, the last refresh, and the Power BI file. So these are the four files inside the zip folder here. So if I double click here, you see that these are the four files. So far, so good. Now we have a list of the files. And with this list, we can specify actually which are the file or files we want to extract. So let's say I only want to extract the Power BI file here. So I can simply copy this with the name itself. And then instead of using, if I go in here one more time, file.extractall, what we had before, I simply use only file.extract. And then you simply specify what exactly from this file do you want to extract. In our case, it is my Power BI file. So that's the only file from the zip file. And let's have a look one more time. You can see that currently the file is not extracted in here. Nothing is extracted. And now if we run this, press Shift Enter to run it, we see that it got executed. And if I go to uh, my folder, you would see that here I only extract one file from the example zip files. And the other files are still uh, in the zip and not extracted. And that's it, actually. That is the way how you can extract only certain files uh, from a zip file. So I think that's quite helpful, especially if you have a use case where you have maybe a really large zip file and uh, with thousands of files could be the case and you only want to extract certain of them, then this is way better than extracting everything and then remove what you have extracted, okay? So that's it for this trick. Hopefully this was helpful. If so, please give this video a like, thumbs up, and please also subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me, so thank you in advance. And also let me know what kind of content you would like to see. You would like to see more of Python, more of machine learning or AI, or more related to Power BI or Tableau or any other kind of tool. Just let me know and I'll try my best to actually then deliver some videos to help you out, okay? So stay safe and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.